and two will be testing ourselves testing on vocabulary we will have a quick test we will just test ourselves it's not a comedy i'm not giving you score we'll just test ourselves let's see where we stand so we we'll test on vocabulary and we will review your review your introduction whatever you have done hum dekhenge and i'll give you feedback and so that you can go on correcting now let's start with the take out your you have a notebook with you pen and a notebook yes sir Okay. Yes, sir. There be unless let's try to be quick. This is the first time you are reviewing your test, the vocabulary. We are just testing ourselves. कोई बात नहीं. सारे गलत होने दो. Okay. Just see the word and write the answer A, B, C, D, E. Whatever you feel is the right option. And this is the way we will be answering in the examinations also. So I want to follow the same pattern. So, and then we will review all the answers. We will not cover all twenty-five. We will cover maybe fifteen or something. So okay. So, are you all ready with your note, notebook and pen? Aditi, ready? Yes, sir. Ready. Shriti, ready. Shriti, Neil. Yes, sir. Ready, sir. Sony. Yes, sir. Ready. Sony. Yes, sir. आप ले लोगे एग्जाम आई श्योर एग्जाम नहीं मतलब टेस्ट कर लोगे आई यू ओके सो व्हाट वी हैव टू डू हियर नहीं नहीं इसमें से आपको राइट आंसर चूज करने हैं ठीक है आपको नोटबुक पे बस ये लिखना है ए बी सी डी ई कोई भी एक आंसर आपको चूज करना है ओके तृप्ति रेडी यस सर चलो लेट्स मेक इट इंटरेस्टिंग ओके and for each question you will get 30 seconds each question you will get 30 seconds so you have to choose any one answer so the first question is this disheveled appearance disheveled appearance untidy fierce foolish peculiar and happy 30 seconds starts now डोंट वरी बस आपको जो अच्छा लगे आप टेक डालो एम यू गो विद नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यस यस ओके द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ बैथलिंग प्रॉब्लम डिफिकल्ट सिंपल पॉजिटिंग लॉन्ग न्यू a baffling problem and all these things we will use in our essay don't worry okay third one is linear parent tall not strict wise Foolish, severe, lenient parent. Fourth one, repulsive personality. Repulsive personality, disgusting. Practice, normal, confused, conceited, repulsive personality. Fifth one, audacious attempt. Audacious attempt. useless bold foolish crazy necessary c 
Sixth one, parry a blow. Ward off, fear, expect, invite, ignore. Seventh one, prevalent disease. Prevalent disease, dangerous, catching, childhood, fatal, widespread. Eighth, ominous report. Loud, threatening, untrue, serious, unpleasant. Ninth one, an incredible story, true, interesting, well-known, unbelievable, unknown. Tenth one, an ophthalmologist, eye doctor, skin doctor, foot doctor, heart doctor, Cancer specialist. Are you on track? Me? Track? Yo? Yes, sir. Aditi, Shriti, Sony, Shreshi, Tripti, all on track? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, the next one will supersede the old law will supersede the old law, enforce specified penalties for, take the place of, repeal, continue. Next one, twelfth, an anonymous donor. Generous, stingy, well-known, one whose name is not known, reluctant, and anonymous donor. Thirty, performed an autopsy. Performed an autopsy. Examination of living tissues, Examination of corpse to determine the cause of death. Process the manufacture of optical lenses. Operation to cure an organic disease. Series of questions to determine the causes of delinquent behavior. Forty. An indefatigable worker. An indefatigable worker, well paid, tired, skillful, tireless, pleasant. Fifteen, a confirmed atheist, a confirmed atheist. Bachelor, disbeliever in God, believer in religion, believer in science, priest. Done? All of you done? Yes, sir. Immediately, within the next 30 seconds, send me the screenshot of all your answers in the group. Send the screenshot in the group. Quick.
Okay, received from Sreshti, received from Sony, Tripti, Shriti, waiting for Aditi, Neel. Neel has come, Aditi, okay, I have received all. Fine. Now, I have the answers from all of you. See, See this, see the answer for all 15 and see and tell me how many, how much did you get out of 15? This is the answer. Up to 15 over here. Check the answer and let me know how much you got. Score yourself. Sir, out of 15, 6. Hold on, hold on. I'll ask everyone. Don't worry. <laughs> hold on. I'll ask everyone. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, what is an 8 number? Uh, Sorry? E is what, sir? Question number 8. Yeah, question B, B. Yes, sir. B is what? Uh, actually, I written here on P, then, so I want to just check. Okay, okay. Yeah. 8 is B is threatening. Okay, sir. Done? Yes, sir. Okay, hold on. So can you please tell me whether I'm registered now or not? I think all are registered. All are registered. Okay, sir. Yeah. Now let's see the score. Neil, how much did you get? Four. Sorry? Four, sir. How much score did you get out of 15? Sir, four out of 15. Four. Yeah. 50? Seven. Aditi? Sir, 9. Sony? Sir, out of 15, I got 6. Correct. I'm sorry, Shresti. Shresti? Sir, 6 out of 15. Shriti? Sir, 8 out of 15. Okay, all done. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> it's good. <clears throat> In fact, most of you, like, see, you have scored more than 50. You have scored more than 50. You are close to 50. So, <clears throat> this is where you stand right now. And it's okay. And it's maybe, maybe you hold, hold sakta hai. Right? So it's okay. The thing is, after two to three days, we have to see where we stand. After two to three, once we learn these words in a very easy way, then I want you to score 15 out of 15. And that is your learning. So let's see these words. They're a very easy word. You will laugh. Oh my God! Kya galti kya? The easy words they are. These are.
Okay. Neil, what is you have to read the word? What is the first word? Read with the right pronunciation. What is the first word? Disheveled appearance. Disheveled, not disheveled. It is disheveled, disheveled appearance. Read the word again. Disheveled, disheveled appearance. Disheveled appearance. Okay. Disheveled appearance. Yeah. Now you know one thing is there. Each is the bahut clear hai. that this word it has a dis. Doesn't click my. Anyway. If you see this, this word has this. We know that any word with a prefix of this, it means something opposite of some. This is a this word is opposite of something, and this is a negative dislike. I know this is opposite of like, and this is negative disobedience. Disobey. I know this is a negative word and this is opposite of this word. So one thing is clear. For one, this is very clear that this table, this table is opposite of something. Now it is some appearance. It's talking about some negative appearance. And so in all probability, it is an appearance, it talks about untidy. So now we have to know the meaning of Chevrolet. Okay. So let's see that what is the etymology of this word this Chevrolet. Because one thing I know that this is a this is an opposite word of something, right? So let's see how do we learn it very, very easy way. I go to online etymology dictionary and I say here. See, there is an adjective. It says shepherd without dressed hair. Without dressed hair. Parallel from form of disheveled, disheveled adjective, bareheaded. If your hair is not combed properly, bareheaded, with shaven head, with shaven head, of the hair itself hanging loose and throw about in disorder, having so it means it's showing something negative, not properly done. So if I see the meaning of I'm trying to find the root word. How do we get the here? How do we get the disheveled? I'm trying to find the root word of this. So we know there's something this shovel here. The word is coming from shovel, air. What is the what is the meaning of shovel? What is the meaning of shovel? Air. See. Shovel means hair. So 
it is not more disheveled, it means improper hair, a bad hair, not combed hair. That's why, what will be the right word? What will be the right answer? Drifty, what will be the right answer out of this? Untidy. Untidy. Okay, it says appearance. So, not combed <laughs> appearance. I mean, your hair is not combed, you're looking untidy. Neil, is this clear? Yes, sir. So, what is the what is the word for hair? Shevel. So that's why it's coming disheveled. Disheveled. Sony, is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Shriti, is this clear? Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Okay. So it becomes very easy. I know the DIS is something opposite as negative. So though unhappy is also negative, foolish is also negative, untidy is also negative. So, but it says appearance. So it cannot be a foolish appearance, unhappy appearance, no. It will be a tidy appearance. Second is a baffling problem. Let's understand that how do I know the right word, right meaning from this. A baffling. Let's find the root word for baffling. What does this, when we say baffle, is baffled. Is baffled. Bewildering, confusing, perplexing. So what is the root word? Let's see the root word. Confused or mislead. So it talks about bewildering, confusing, perplexing, See, baffle is to disgrace. It says there's no certain origin of this word. It says the root word where they are found is bark, compared to German bark machine or washer to disgrace publicly. So we always try to find the root word. And from the root word, we get the answer. So here if we say a baffling problem what do you think would be the right word? Sony, what do you think would be the right answer? Sir, option two, puzzling. C, that is option Yes, sir, sir. two options. Confusing, right? Neil, what would be the right answer? He says, a baffling problem. Sir, puzzling. Aditi? Yes, sir. What will be the right answer? Sir, puzzling. Okay, good. So we know, baffling, it's talking about a baffling problem. So, and baffling means misleading or confusing, bewildered, wild type car, people. Third is lenient parent. We all know the meaning of lenient. It's the opposite of strict. So, Shishki, uh, Shishki, what would be the right answer? Sir, be not strict. Not strict, very good. So we say lenient, leniency, just not strict. So it's, whenever we talk, instead of saying not strict, you know, the teacher is not strict, we should say the teacher is lenient. <clears throat> Let's not try using not strict, not good. If it's not good, it's bad. So, we will avoid using, you know, many a time we say, many a time we say th these words. We say, return back. We say, repeat again. Neil, what will be the right word? For what, sir? Lenient. No, 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 no. Here, can you return back? Is this the yes, right sir. is this the right phrase? 
Yes, sir. Can you return back? Or no. also we can say that uh, repeat again. No. We never say return back. Return ka matlab ye back hota hai, Repeat ka matlab ye again hota hai. We always say return. Please return. Please repeat. Repeat again kabhi nahi kehte. <laughs> repeat mat and again matlab same hi ho gaya. <laughs> return or back matlab same ho gaya. Neil, is this correct? Yes, sir. Yes. Aditi, is this clear? Yes, sir. So whenever you write, whenever you speak, please avoid using these. And these are called these are called redundant words. These are redundant words. And when we try to repeat the same thing. Or you know. I will celebrate your birthday at 12 midnight. What is the right word? Sony, what is the right word? I'm both like, okay. Um, you know, we will celebrate New Year at 12 midnight. What is the right word? Sir, right word for midnight. I'm just catering, you know, we will celebrate at 12 midnight. What is the right way of talking? What is the right way of writing? Sir, we will celebrate your birthday at 12 o'clock. You should say, we'll celebrate your birthday at midnight. Midnight means you are 12 o'clock. Midnight means you are 12 o'clock. Midnight. Correct? Yes, sir. So, we will keep using 12 o'clock and midnight yes. together. Yes. We will only oh. use either one. We will just say midnight. Okay? Correct? Yes, sir. So, there are many words we will learn. There are many words where, where they are redundant words. They are redundant words. So, let's use single word instead of using repeat again, return back. What are the words I say? Jump up, go. Redundancy hatani padegi. Just use one word. So, so we say, you know, the teacher is not strict. No. The teacher is lenient. Then, repulsive personality. Repulse. After physics, we magnet ke liye padha hai na, repulsion. So, other yes, science sir. Mein padha hai. so, Neil, what is the meaning of repulsion? Sir, same, same are repelled to it, uh, each other. It means the South Pole and South Pole repel. What is the meaning? It's meaning that uh, like uh, are rep always repel. Yahape, May I so? Which is the right word? May I so? Yes, yes, please. Sir, attractive. Okay. Now, let's break the word. We. We are a sort of prefix hai. So what is the positive? So let's see the let's see the etymology, the root word. How did this word become repulsive? Ye word kahan se Repulsive, able to repel, having the power to dissipate collected humors. And this is coming from the word repel it to drive back. It is to drive back. Repeller to drive back. The sense of causing disgust. So the word repel is drive back. So what is repulsive? Driving back something. So if I see the, if I see the options over here, and if I look at the a root word, it says driving back, a personality which is driving back, driving you back, disgusting, attractive, normal, confused, conceited. So my first question is, just say, who said attractive? The me, Shriti. So Shriti, first of all, we have to form this word, we have to find 
whether is it a positive word or is it a negative word? I mean, are we talking in a positive context or are we talking in a negative context? When I say repulsive, a personality that is driving you back. So, me, what would be the right answer? Or is it a positive meaning or a negative meaning over here? What would be the right answer? So I think it's uh, positive. <clears throat> so is it attractive? Shriti, what would be the right approach of guessing? Sir, I think negative word. Repulsion means sir, e, uh, far each away, sir. Like. Yes, what would be the right answer? Sir, according to me, I think attractive will be right answer. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Shreshti. Yes, sir. What would be the right answer? Sir, concise e. Not concise. Conceited. Conceited. Oh. Sir, that, uh, sorry, sir, I just lost my connectivity. Sir, as no, per no. me, uh, sir, as per me, it must be sir disgusting because repulsive means something that is totally in different, uh, different, uh, direction that goes differently in different di direction and don't yes, really attract yes. towards each yes. other. That's what I'm saying. Repulsive is talking about driving you back. So it could be a negative, negative word. Okay, besides repulsive personality. A person, you know, he is not very attractive. I mean, he's driving you back. So you are saying disgusting. Let's see. Yes. Tripti, what would be the right answer according to you? Sir, disgusting. Because a repulsive means matlab ki repel. Yes. So first thing is, from the word, if we try to guess, from here, when I say repel, this word is coming from repel. अच्छा आपने हम आप मैं आपको बहुत ही सिंपल वे में समझाता हूँ आप भी आप पकड़ लोगे एक मिनट में पकड़ लोगे ठीक है I'll bring you to a an example where you will give me an answer what is this we are using this at home almost every day what is this हम ये यूज़ करते हैं घर पे हम क्या यूज़ करते हैं घर पे रेपेलेंट व्हाट इज़ रेपेलेंट व्हाट इज़ दैट लिक्विड और यस सर टू रिमूव और टू पुश अवे मेबी सॉरी सर टू पुश अवे और टू रिमूव नो 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 हम घर पे क्या यूज़ करते हैं ये यूज़िंग दिस हैट होम एवरी डे हम घर पे यूज़ करते हैं एवरी डे Sir, uh, it's a mixture of a chemical substance, sir, which is used in everything, like to move away insects and other Baba, things. Now, Baba, what do we use in the house? Especially in the summer. Are we not using it? Uh, sir, sir, to, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to protect ourselves from mosquitoes, we yes. use it. Yes. Yes. Good we night. Use... Yes. So, if you have a good night, you have a good night, you have a good night. They are called repellents, right? आपने ये भी देखा हो ना जो हम एक light जलाते insect repellent, right? Insect repellent भी देखा है ना जो हम एक tube light जलाते हैं, correct? Yes sir. We also have the repellent to drive the mosquitoes away, correct? So now, if you talk some these words, do you think this word will have a positive meaning? Do you think so? No. No sir. No. So that's how, that's how you have to catch up. Tabhi hum word ko pagar paayenge aur humhe pagar chalega ki ye negative word hai, ye positive word hai aur uska answer kya ho sakta hai wahan pe. Aapko bilkul ek word ko tod tod kar, tod tod kar, aapko bilkul ek live example mein aajana hai. Jaisa mai aapko live example leke hai, repellent, insect repellent, hum daily dekhte hai, muscular repellent, hum daily dekhte hai in cheese ko. So, a person, a personality who is repulsive, what is the right answer? 
Sir, it's disgusting, ma'am. Disgusting, right? Now, can you relate with my examples, Aditi? Now, you relate to the fact disgusting it will Yes, sir. Isn't it very easy to first catch whether it's a negative or a positive meaning? So, positive attractive to hui sakta. Normal hoga ni. Confusion could be yes. Conceited, no. So, it will be either confused or disgusting. The nearest could be confused or disgusting. But when we know the repulsive, you are driving back. After some guru are a about the Durja, I have said. Five minutes, Durja. Your he's a repulsive personality. After some day, I say. बिल्कुल मैग्नेट के तरह नहीं ऑपोजिट वे में जाओगे उससे ऑपोजिट जाओगे आप दैट्स डिस्कस्टिंग नील इजन्ट इट इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड बिल्ड अप योर वोकैबुलरी यस सर सोनी यस सर श्रेष्ठ की प्रीति आई यू गेटिंग यस सर यस सर एंड दिस विल कम इन लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस बेटर सो डोंट वरी इट विल नॉट कम ओवर नाइट आप सोचोगे कि आज मैं करूं और कल मैं चैंपियन बन जाऊं तो कोई भगवान नहीं है इट विल कम विद लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इट विल कम विद लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस आई मीन लर्निंग वेयर आई विल ट्राई माय बेस्ट टू हेल्प यू आउट नाउ फिफ्थ वन इज ऑडेशियस अटेम्प्ट अगेन वेरी इजी वर्ड आई विल वन आई नो व्हेन द वर्ड इज एंडिंग विद आई यू यू एस इट इज एन एडजेक्टिव When the word is ending with I, I O O U S, I know this is an adjective. Now I have this word A U D A. Is it coming from audio? It is coming from sound. So it's an audacious attempt. It could be useless, bold, foolish, crazy, necessary. Necessary to nothing will happen. It's an Sir, adjective. Sir, I got this very bold. strong word audacity. I compared audacity with or yes. audios, and I choose bold. Yes. yes, very good. So now, this word is coming from audacity. Okay. Now we have to find the root word. What is a u d? A u d कहाँ से आ रहा है? ये हमें पता चलना है. Is it coming from audio sound? Let's see. फिर आपको क्या meaning पता चल जाएगा इसका? Something loud. Audacious is confident, intrepid, daring, boldness, audacious. From Latin, audacia, daring. So this is not coming from audio. It is coming from audacia, daring, boldness, courage. Coming from audax, brave. And so the word is audax, coming from brave, bold, daring. But it says more often bold. In a bad sense, rash, foolhardy, from order to dare, bold. So this is telling me it's coming in a negative sense. Here, bold, daring, rash, foolhardy, audacious, presumption, impudence, implying contempt of moral restraint. Audacious. Okay. So now we know that it is giving me a bold in a bad sense. Let's see. He said, "Useless, bold. It's already giving me bold. Foolish, crazy, necessary. So what is the right answer? Bold. Sorry. Sir, bold. Bold. B. Bold. It is." Bold. Another one. Why? This is an adjective, and my answer in all probability will be an adjective. But foolish is also adjective. Crazy is all adjective. But I'm I'm getting from the root word audacious. Audacious is bold. If you break this word, you will get more you know more history. 
Now, parry a blow. This is a phrase. Parry a blow is a phrase. Blow means atana. A parry, a blow. Ward off, fear, expect, invite, you know, it's wrong. Because if it is a phrase, and blow means out, get out. So it says something, you know, switch it off, chase them off. So I know that one word that in all probability, this will be my answer. Because blow, blow means out, off, get out, get off. So in all probability, this will be my answer. Parry a blow cannot be fear. Because it cannot be a fear. Expect no. Invite is a verb. Ignore is a verb. Just hold on. So in all probability, it will be ward off. Let's see the meaning of parry. What is the meaning of parry? Here. <laughs> to turn aside or ward off. The blow of weapon. This was used in war from French parry. A word which would have been heard of in lesson. Imperative or fairer. Ward off. From Italian prayer to ward off or defend. Parry. I'm trying to know, come to the closest. Yeah. Parry. Non fencing. Act of warding off or turning aside. Fair. Proto Indo European putting me to produce. Here. Yeah. To produce, to procure, and yielding a derived word in diverse, diverse sense, possibly related to pair, to a lot. This is another word. So now there are so many words we come with, which is related to this. Oviparous, parent, parous, parry. All these words are coming from this root word, pair, to produce. Like we say, parent. <coughs> parent is coming from the word pair, produce. So if you learn, if you learn these <coughs> etymology, it will really help you a lot. Parade. <clears throat> to show or bravado. See, the parade is also come, coming from there. On the same word. Here. The verb is a doublet of parry. Parade ground. See, the parade ground is also coming from here. On the same word. So, we know that one root word gives you so many words which we know are related to the soul. If I say bipairus, so pair here means a lot. Bipairus to a lot something two, two, you know. Let's see the meaning of bipair. Bi is two. <clears throat> you see, bringing or two at birth. Bi means two and pair means produce. So now we know that pair, I, well, if I know the root word of pair, I can find the meaning of all the words related to pair. All the words, very easily. It's very easy. So, we need to remember some of the root words and we can interpret, we can know the meaning of all these words which are coming from here. Let's say, upper, again, coming from pair, to a lot, to run. So, let's see the meaning of upper. Prepare, make preparation. Again, talking about here. Prepare is also coming from this word here. To produce. Prepare. Pre and pair. This is also coming from the same word. Pair. See? This is either word from upper, prepare, make ready. Apparatus, which we use in the laboratory. So you see, we can find so many words coming from this word which means to produce, to make something. Are we getting it? Neil, 
Are you trying to understand what I'm trying to show you? Yes, sir. Aditi, do you get what I'm trying to show you? How to learn the words very easily? Yes, sir. Shriti, do you understand how do we break a word and derive a meaning out of this? Yes, sir. And this comes with practice. Sony, are you finding it interesting? Yes, sir. Abhi aap bolte hain, bimar hoon, nahi class karungi. Kuch to sikha naal, sikha hi nahi sikha. Yes, sir. Then, so, always try to, you know, make yourself positive. Agar abhi rukhe ki, mein bimar hoon, thoda, thoda chal jayega, nahi. So, sometimes try to make a positive, let's see. Then, abhi jaake baadhe, kuch to sikha rungi mein. Kuch to milega mujhe, pakka. Zero pe to nahi out kone wali. Tripti, are you finding it interesting? And how we can yes, have so many words from one word? Yes, sir. Yeah, so if we learn the root word, trust me, you can learn. If you know one root word, you can learn 1,000 words from there. It becomes very easy, very easy. So now, when I know that parry is coming from ward off, parry a blow, apne aap bata raha ward off. The, another one is prevalent. Disease. Okay, this is the prefix. Pre. Prevalent. Disease we know. So now, dangerous, catching, childhood, fatal, or widespread. Prevalent we know. We often say that there's a prevalence. But then we already have life may. We already nature may have. So here I'm very clear is a widespread. So let's see the meaning of prevalent. How did this word become? How, how do we... Here, having great power or force controlling, ruling in the nature, struggle on nature, superior strength, mighty, present particular of here, pray, believe, to be more able, from pray before, here, pre means before. हम जानते हैं कि कोई भी वर्ड जब प्री होता है मतलब बिफोर प्रीपेड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल प्रीपेड मोबाइल चार्जेस सो वेन एवर वी से प्री मीन्स बिफोर सो एक चीज तो हमें पता चल गया है कि प्रेवलेंट मीन्स जो पहले से चलता आ रहा है राइट सो फ्रॉम प्री इज कमिंग फ्रॉम प्रे बिफोर एंड वेले हैविंग है पावर सो दिस वर्ड इज क्लियरली टेलिंग मी समथिंग अ डिजीज जो पहले जिसके बाद पहले से कोई पावर हो बहुत पावरफुल डिजीज है ये प्रे वेलेंट वेलेंट मीन्स पावर प्रे एंड प्री मीन्स फ्रॉम बिफोर सो दिस डिजीज हैज अ पावर फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम सो वील फाइंड द राइट वर्ड आर सेंस यर रूट वर्ड इज Word to be strong, meaning widespread. See, meaning widespread, extend, extensively existing in general use. So this is very very clear that prevalent disease, a disease, a powerful disease which has been in the system, which has been in the nature, in the existence for a very very long time, or very widespread, हो सकता है. Is this clear, Aditi? Yes, sir. So at least it's giving you power. At least it's giving you some knowledge to guess the word. Catching, I know, prevent catching नहीं होगा. Childhood भी नहीं होगा because this is talking about nature. Something very powerful जो बहुत पहले से है. Fatal, not necessary. Like there are many things, but not necessarily वो बिल्कुल से ट्रेजिडी हो जाए मर जाए ऐसा कोई जरूरी नहीं है सो दिस ऑल्सो टेल्स मी एंड वाइट स्प्रेड बिकॉज इट स्टॉक वॉट स्टॉक वॉट नेचर माइटी ओमिनस रिपोर्ट सो आई नो इट्स एन एब्जेक्टिव ओमिन मीन्स एवरीवेयर समथिंग सो लाउड थ्रेटनिंग अनट्रू सीरियस अनप्लेजेंट And omni is a very common word. So, you have to have a lot of words combined. Milenge aapko. Omni, omni present, present everywhere. <coughs> Catching, 
convey an omen, significant, Latin ominousness, full of forward, forward, it's like a divine, sacred word. Ominous manner, with good omen, divine, Bhagavan Kavya, auspicious. But this sense has been obsolete since the in, in 70s. The main modern meaning with evil omen is attested from 1640s. So now it's saying that now the meaning, modern meaning with evil omen has gone. It says ominous from third person singular present subjective or obese, obese, be away. Be away, absent. So it says, let's see how we can derive. Ominous report, loud, threatening, untrue, serious, unpleasant. Is it a negative word or is it a positive word? Aditi, is it a negative word or is it a positive word? So negative. Negative, right? So, can it be unpleasant or can it be threatening? No, sir. Can it be sir, threatening? It's threatening? Why is it threatening? It's How did you derive? Sir. How did you derive? Aapko, aapko kaise laga logically ke threatening ho sakta hai? Let me hear you out. Kaisi ho? Guess करना एक अलग चीज होता है, but logic, report. logic के साथ guess करना एक अलग होता है. Logically आपने कैसे guess किया कि इसका meaning threatening होगा? बताओ. Yes. See, it says in an ominous manner. Earliest use with good omen. Auspicious. But this sense has been obsolete. This sense, pehle wala, achcha wala sense chala gaya hai. Modern, modern meaning mein, evil ke saath bola ja raha hai. Negative ke saath bola ja raha hai. Pehle hum usko positive way mein bole, bolte the. Abhi hum usko negative way mein bolte. Isi ke saath ek word hai, omnipresence. Omnipresent. Everywhere present. All places at the same time. <clears throat> Pahle kya hota tha? Present everywhere. Like God. See. Omnipresent. No, this is the sorry. <laughs> no. <clears throat> that is Omri. And this is Omen. The two. One is N-I. One is It is M-I. So now, now the meaning is in a negative way. That is why it's showing a negative meaning, something threatening that we can think of. <clears throat> an incredible story. In, in itself talks about some opposite word or is a prefix. Incredible is a different word. Whenever we use the word in, inauspicious, auspicious, inauspicious. Here, unbe unbelievable, surpassing belief what is possible from not to be believed. Credible, credible is the opposite of incredible. From Greek word, incredible statement or opinion, by decade. Incredible. So, this is very clear. That it's talking about credible, incredible. Incredible is unbelievable. You just cannot believe this. So, True, interesting, well-known, unbelievable. Here it says, unbelievable. 
Because when you talk about credit, you know, give the credit to him. The credibility, he has the credibility of doing this. Second, that is, you can believe. But when you talk about opposite, it says incredible. You can give the credit to him. But when it comes to opposite, it says incredible, unbelievable. Optometrologist, we know any word ending with IST, the person logic the study. So a person who talk, uh, study eyes about eyes. Eye doctor, skin doctor, foot doctor, heart doctor. So Sony, what is the right answer? Sony, what is the right answer? Sorry, sir, I didn't got the meaning. No, it's not, I didn't got the, I didn't get, I didn't eat, I did not walk. When you use did not, when you use did not, you always use the present tense. I did not eat, I did not speak, I did not walk. You never say I did not eat, I never say I did not spoke. Did not ke saath, did ke saath, hum kabhi bhi past tense, past verb use nahi karte hain. Ye life mein likhte rap lo. Okay, Sony? Okay, sir. Yeah. So what is the meaning of this ophthalmologist? Aap nahi the, man bataya tha, jahan bhi bhi IST hai, it's a word, logic means study, a person who's studying about what? Optha. Our body ke kaun se part ko bolte hai? Eyes. Eyes, yes. So, uh, eye doctor, very clear. A person who, who studies about eyes is the eye doctor. Very clear. Okay, so we will, same way, please go through this and try finding out some words. Try practicing it the way I'm practicing with you. Okay, so that we all learn very easy way and this will come with practice but it will definitely come. Okay. Any questions so far? Aditi, any question from your end? Neil, anything you want to ask? Shriti, anyone? Aditi? Yes, sir. Anything you want to ask? Anything you want to... You have any doubt? So what is the meaning of fatal? Fatal is something with which you die. If the accident is fatal, it means... You say the accident was fatal. It means he died in that accident. Okay. Sir. Okay. Yeah. This disease, COVID, COVID was fatal for many. Right? Sir, I just wanted to know, will you add literary terms related to English literature to this batch, in this batch? English literature, it depends if you have something to, you know, when you, because when you're writing essays and all, English literature, not really thought of, but if you need, I can add. Okay, but let's first focus on the vocabulary, let's first focus on writing, writing skill, let's first focus on the spoken skill. Once we are strong with these activities, your literature will become very, very easy to understand. You get it? Yes. When you start understanding all these words, these vocabularies, you know, start speaking, then your literature becomes very easy. Correct? Yes. Yes or no? Yeah, so let's go slow. Don't worry. Shreshti, anything? Any doubt? No, sir. Tripti? No, sir. So, jab sab no bolte hain, to doi, doi reason hota hai. One, ya to aapko sab kuch son mein aagaya, ya to kuch bhi son mein nahi aaya. Tabhi, tabhi koi question nahi aata. Now, tell me that the first option is right, the second option is right, that everything is coming to me. Can you explain 13? Sorry? Sir, 13 number. 13 number is autopsy. Something automatic when you are 
talking about you know when you're finding the cause of the death post mortem karte hai na yes sir that is a autopsy uh, let's see the because it can have any close meaning you know b sir yeah examination of cops to determine the cause of death murde ka jo hum jo post mortem karte hain sir can i ask something yes please sir when when same options are given then how can we identify that uh, it's correct that how can we identify that uh, so first one is correct or another one is not correct when same same type of options are given yes see the words can be the answers can be very close but then you have to also see whether this is a negative word is a if it is given in a form of adjective is given in form of a verb and then you have to see the option also you have to find out from the root word root word se bahut kuch pata chalta hai nahi okay and then once you once you learn at least 100 to you know 200 root words aapko sare bahut easy ho jayenge trust me aap ye root words se aapne shuru kar doge na aapke liye sab bahut easy ho jayega like the way we are practicing today apne aap pata chal jata hai isme ki negative answer hoga ya positive word hoga ya negative word hoga all these things will come with practice don't worry okay neil okay sir yeah let's keep practicing okay so we call it a day and we we'll again meet on monday please revise and try learning more and more words and anything you do you can share with me in the group and i'll i know i'll immediately give feedback okay okay sir yeah so we'll do, so we'll yes. do the some questions in the next class yeah so we we'll do some of this thing in the next class and also i will review your i want you to review your paragraph the introduction here in the class itself and give you feedback but then i do you know we'll do it in the next class okay i have okay sir i have another session at 2:30 okay sir. i hope i hope you all are enjoying i hope you all are finding it interesting excuse me yes, sir so write a passage or introduction about ourselves what we have to do exactly no 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 please watch the last video and you will get it okay sir okay watch the last video and because i don't want to say mai ek line bol dunga aap itna hi samjhoge video dekho aapko sab pata chal jayega kya karna hai okay sir okay so i hope you are finding it interesting finding it and uh, you are enjoying the uh, sessions Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. मजा मजा नहीं आया. Yes sir. फिर तो मतलब कुछ और इसकी बोल रहे हैं. Yes sir. Confidence नहीं दिख रहा. Energy नहीं दिख रही कि आर ये मैं enjoy कर रहे हैं कि वैसे मुझे मुझे push करने के लिए बोल रहे हो. Tripti. No sir. So we are learning from you. No no I know I am also learning from you. Don't worry. Shriti, are you enjoying the session? Are you learning? Yes, sir. I will join the session. Okay, Tripti, uh, Shashi. Yes, sir. Okay, and please keep giving feedback. All the people who want to do something, do it. Do it, sir. Do it. 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 Do it.